All right, guys. Now, I was just, um, I'm gonna tell you everything that just happened. It's nothing crazy, but I was just smoking in my garage, right? Now, I wasn't, I was like, it was weird. Like, Terrence, I was listening to Terrence McKenna, and Terrence McKenna says this thing about DMT. And if, for you, those of you who don't know what DMT is, it's dimethyltryptamine. It's one of the like purest compounds that exist in nature. And it's in, they believe it's in all of us. After doing studies on rats, they found it is in the pineal gland and uh, pineal gland in, in rats. So, it's and they know it's in grass. Like most, in some people, such as Dennis McKenna, and they believe that it is in all plants. It's just we haven't been able to like detect the trace amounts of it in those plants that we haven't found it in. So further research needs to be done on these types of things. But so obviously we don't understand everything. But I just had a thought. Now <clears throat> I was smoking, and oh, think about this too, because I was smoking resin. Now. I always seem to get like deep thoughts. I remember one time in sophomore year of college, I decided to smoke resin one time. And I, I don't usually do. It's just like every rare while, right? Like once every six months. Maybe like once every five months or something like that. I don't know. Now, it's crazy because every time I seem to have them, like I remember one time in sophomore year, I had a crazy memory on resin. Like I was just sitting on my couch. It was so nuts. I had to message my mom, like, I think I just figured out the universe, and I didn't. <laughs> but it was, like, a profound moment for me, and I was running around touching my walls and, like, feeling things because I thought, like, I figured it out, and, like, things are connected and just how. But it was just, like, that feeling for me, but I ended up, I feel like I learned more since then. I'm not going to show you, but... <laughs> It's nuts because I'm listening to Terrence McKenna and he said something about the DMT having its own meaning. Like, not only just the DMT having like its own meaning, but everything in itself having its own meaning. Like, by everything in its own self, I mean like every moment in time that is perceived in everything that happens in it and like atom atoms moving you know what i'm saying in every moment of time that we can't register now think if this I'm, I'm i don't know how to explain this it's really hard to explain for me but the only way that now this i think i can maybe get it across to all religions, such as a Christian religion or some other types, all these other religions that are seeing or have claimed to have seen, like Jesus, come from a virgin and like weird spiritual stories. Now, we claim that we see UFOs all the time. Like some of these phenomena that pe happen on this earth are unexplainable. Now, think about like if one time in one of those writings it's true okay so god sends jesus here to do miraculous things that aren't inhumane like we can't do such as walk on water which we cannot on this planet unless we had some type of vice device and jesus came back in time and then use that but either way, we'd have to ripple through time and come back, which is, who knows. But that's another topic. Now, see about the DMT having its own meaning. What if, now, you have to consider this other theory. What if we, you know how people say not me i'm not saying that i claim this okay in a sense i guess i do 
but in in a less arrogant way, I believe, because I've never like boasted like that. Um, but by saying like I am a god, you know what I mean? Like in a sense, it this could make sense because now say DMT is the particle, is the compound that comes into us, okay? It's a very tiny amount spread across this universe, and it's only found in, like, the deepest part, the most concentrated part, just like deep, like, concentrated resin. So it's in the deepest part of life, okay? Now... If that's spread across the universe in trace amounts, like, think about if that w that time when you do take DMT. I've never done it, by the way. I do want to. That six minutes of time that you do take DMT, that's that DMT hit that you're taking, the amount that was extracted from the living things here and used to let you, as a human figure... Because we had to extract it from the deepest parts of us. We had to... That's what lets us as humans go back in time. Well, I wouldn't say in time. That, that's what helps us go back as humans to this point that lets us see through the eyes of God again. And be able to view what we have made well but not we i'm not saying we humans but i'm saying like the this this deep essence of just like that we can't explain of love laughter i mean not it's like of love energy soul like all this stuff we can't explain that like souls leave our body when we die now it's it's us reverting back to this moment not not back, not back. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out on how I'm explaining this to you guys because it's the molecule that you take that can help you be in the eyes of God, us, our essence again, and see the code, f f the actual code for what it is. Not mathematics code like all these numbers and stuff that explains it for us, but... It's actually what it looks like. And it's actually what it is. Right? So, when God made us in Genesis, he put us somewhere. Like, it's not, we're not, that's why I also, like, I say this to people. Like, I, I feel being here, like, with pain, suffering, the things I've gone through, and I feel, like, this is as dead as we can be. I'm not scared to die. Like, I feel like when I die, I'll, I'll, have, not, I, I'll have to have died with pride and have learned my lessons, yes. Because if I don't learn my lessons, I think I don't want to walk up to this, because I do believe in God, and I believe when we do leave here, like, we will be judged in a certain way that, like, how did you make that person feel? And I know I make people feel like shit. I'm sorry. Like, I just need to let y'all know. Like, I'm so raw sometimes. And this is never my intentions to, like, hurt people. And I know I fucked up. And I, I'm just sorry. I guess this is me a little bit repenting to, on screen. But I just want to say... <clears throat> Like, I believe now that, like, the only way if... I, I do believe Christianity and these things could be possible. So to relate to those people who could totally dismiss this at first, I do believe, like, that that is a possibility. But I've just never seen it. Like, there's no... There's no valid proof. And I, I mean... The Bible could be proved, but, like, that would be them explaining this this thing 
that God was able to take like that again or like send because if it is if God can do these things then he can like program it and and ripple through to us and send somebody here that's the only way it would happen is if we needed that or something happened to where he sent somebody some entity here and just so we could recognize it you see what I'm saying but it's always around us. We're always in God. But he just, it's like a simulation almost. Like he sent, he as in us, our essence, like sends us into this place to like learn lessons and experience things. And that's why it's called the human experience. But when, that's why I think like there's such little traces of DMT throughout the because it's spread out throughout the universe and that's literally pieces of the game like us going and then you pick up those pieces in order to f just like view and say like oh what's up back to people I mean, that's why we claim God, because in the first page of the Bible on Genesis, like the first verse, not the, like, it's nuts because it, the first thing it says is it says, God, okay, wait, what it says, you know how it says, God made us in his image? It says before that. Let us, us, plural, make human, okay, us, in our image. I really, really think, and if the Bible is throughout time, like they say, with noble scholars who are doing the translating, if they did not change the letters in the meaning of the words that are there on that page. He. Let us make us in his image. But it says before that. Or I mean. Let us make humans in my image. If it says before that. Us in our. If that's how it was written. I believe it is literal. Like I believe it is literal. And by us in our. It's. Only ex it's not explaining humans. It's explaining that, that that code essence that we go and we can experiment here on Earth with like sounds, okay? And like when you explain a sound to somebody, it only to me sounds best to explain a sound is if I go, yeah, I really liked that triangle shape to it with the yellow trim. Like you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. It may not make sense, but like. it makes sense it's just sound sound is just the way we hear it like a song like by somebody like I know people don't like hip hop for certain reasons because of like the lyrics and and blah 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 because it, 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 it this promotes women and stuff, but like a a sound, the overall sound of something. Just and the way you play with it has a has a. That's why people like certain types of music. Like, like I don't go out killing people and shit. You know what I mean? But like, if someone says it on a track, like I'm just you just play with the sound, and I'm not playing with every sound has a meaning. 
So like when you move your lips in like I'm not talking about the lyrics and the language that we've made. I'm talking about the actual sound. Like it makes a color and like that's and then I explain it. Like I if I was a, like I I'm really into purple songs lately. I don't know why. Like just just when the shapes move and they're mostly purp like and they're mostly purple. And that's how it feels to me. I guess it feels like that to me. You know, I close my eyes. I can kind of... And I move my arms like this when I'm by myself. Like... Ah, it's not to show you so... You know what I mean? That's... That's just... It's the feeling of it. So... Like, when I'm singing... I mean, it's pure, right? It's pure. That's something about this universe I can I can feel is pure. And, like, something inside of me that was relayed and put here. Because if we aren't put here and we are just here, then, then we wouldn't have, like, this thing to search for God. I mean, it's... That's why I really think... There's life after death because in this could relate to Christianity. I, I, I told my uncle one time, like, I believe in the same thing as you. I believe in the same God. Okay? I just don't think that Jesus was in human. Like, because there's no, like, he was probably a human with a huge following, which is what I said at the time. But if I haven't, I'm I'm been reading the Bible. I just started Okay, now if Jesus was made and Jesus is not of human and those stories are true, then this is the only, like one of the ways that would have to explain it because God would be able, if it was God, he would be able to open up the time and put it something here and give it to us to notice. Why was the time important? Maybe 2,000 years ago isn't that long, you know, so it should be important. Now, I really just think that DMT is a way to, for us humans to literally just exchange, not connect and go, or exchange or connect and get back to and literally sync back up again. with the godhead like the base like that's a good way of putting it i guess like the base where we all exist in infinity such as after death okay now when it comes to god and seeing him on judgment day i do believe and i believe this connects too because i i've heard stories about people who have died and came back and they tell what happened, you know, like, I do believe if we walk up to God and we tell him, like, he, we don't have to tell him, but, like, he plays back our whole life for us. Like, every single moment in time, just like frames, you know. Now, what was the feeling of that one? Like, what was the feeling of that one? What was the feeling of that one? Now, and then when you go and you ask, he asks you, like, why would you do this to that person? And and he, and then you have an explanation, and it's your humanly explanation. Now, you humanly explain that to him, and he's going to say, yes, but how did that make that person feel? Right? And he's going to want you to make, he's going to want you to feel that. Again, maybe, and that's why they say he shall punish you. Like, So it's like, you get to feel what that person felt, and I have, I'm so scared. I am so scared that I didn't live my life perfect. And I am going to go back. I'm going to go and face him. And he's going to be like, how did you make this person feel? How did you make your mom feel that time? And you cussed her out. How did you make your... I don't know. I don't... I'm not going to go into that. But, like... 
he's gonna, and I'm not, what am I gonna say? There's no defense, like, so it's like, I really think there is a chance, like, I think kind of what a thing is, like, God is. It's crazy, too, because I remember this one person, this psychic lady told my mom that my grandma crossed, and she was hold, seen holding a baby, like, in, in my cousin was being born okay so but like she died and then he was born so she like kind of it's it was weird but that's really no connection to this but it's like the way he will send us back not maybe not here to this universe <sighs> maybe not here to this universe you know Maybe to another parallel universe where something else could exist where we don't have DNA. It's a different form of life. Like, we don't know. But think about, like, the yogic standpoint. The yogic standpoint. Like, the yogi believes that if you die and you tell God all these things, the only way, like, they want to stay there. I want to stay there. I don't... That's why I say this is the, as dead as we can get here on Earth. Maybe there's a worse place in a parallel universe. But this is as dead as I want to get. Like, I want to... My next step when I die, I just want to stay there in that space. But I'm so scared. I'm going to be raw, but, like, I'll be so scared. I just, like, you see me almost break down a little bit, and I stop myself to try to just get this point across. Now, I'm so scared to face him, and he'll be like, how did you make somebody feel when I was 24? You know, when I was 23, when I was 22 and stupider, you know? And I will have to come back. I will have to go somewhere and learn something. But I, I want to get to a point where I could just like be angel-like. You know, stay there. Instead of just having to come here. Get a sniff and sniffle. Like what the fuck is a sniffle? Like it's something, it's something I have to worry about and control. That's why they say worry is of the devil. Like, I really just want to die and stay there, bro. Like, I need to learn my lessons here while I'm here. I need to be good. I need to be kind. I need... And this is something I want to admit, too. I really feel like a lot of people don't fuck with me because... um. Like, all throughout life, oh yeah, wait, let me finish on the other subject. I just think, like, I don't want to come back and I want to forgive. And I really, really don't want to come, like, come back. I just want to stay there. And I think that scares me because I don't know I'm pretty sure like I'm gonna have to come back because like what is time and I'm gonna have to learn some lessons then too and I don't want to come back and have to sit here and be ordered and have to take like a highly compounded thing and a very, very small thing that people say is a drug, you know, in order to just view what is us, if that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense to me in, in a good, I mean, in this language. Why do we have to just view, I mean... Most people on this plant, life never will because they don't take DMT or, like, humble themselves to cut a deal with a plant. <laughs> yeah, 
and be able to go back and read what we wrote. Now, even though we are like reading it and you think you might have the craziest DMT experience, I guarantee you that is only a little branch of the code. And it's only viewed in six minutes, but imagine if that was infinity. And that's why DMT is so small and untraceable on this planet. Okay, that's why it's hard to obtain. Because that would be beautiful if we could just live there infinitely. And I smile, I guess I just kind of laugh saying it, because that would be great. And then like seeing, I, I've never even done it. And just seeing, I've done a lot of research though. I mean, and just being able to experience it for what it is, even if it is a short amount of time. And then we have all this other shit when we come back, when we come back here in what we are. Now, Um, what was I saying before? I'm gonna go back and look real quick. Okay, yeah, um, I just went back and looked real quick. It's literally been like 20 seconds. Now, 20 or 30, I don't know, see? It's time. <laughs> Isn't it funny how time is linear too, and I, it's the same thing, like it's hard to remember the line if I tell you a line of a rap song and it's halfway through the song or through the verse, so say it's like the tenth bar of the verse, it's easy to remember the line after. It's way more difficult, way harder to remember the line before. Okay? So it's funny how we think we're linear. That's all I'm trying to get at. Now, and what would it be like to think not linear? Like, I don't know. But, um,. And don't claim you have either, because it's, because that's not something, I mean, I don't know, I mean maybe, but like it's like, <laughs> that's some schizo shit, but it's like, then you would have to be thinking, I mean, we think about one thing, like say I'm thinking, okay, I just thought of a black cow, now, I would, then I have to think of the white cow, like it's not like you think a black cow, this, alright, there's my name, six to C. There's my, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, and then this is my favorite artist. And that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't think I'm all in the exact same split second in your head. So, I mean, <laughs> that's funny. Side note. That was a side note. A minute and a half side note. But, as I was saying before, if, I fucking forgot again. No. All right. As I was saying before, I think like, and, and like I, I apologize to everybody. Like if I've ever made them feel bad, like I really don't want to. Like even this one person who fucked me up my life raw, I told him because I hadn't seen him, but I told him over text when we got into something like He's like, why can't you just forgive me? And blah, blah, blah. All the while, while he's acting rude and like just not genuinely nice person. Okay. Now, all the while I told him, like, I forgive you. Okay. I think I truly do forgive him for that moment in time. But I don't want to fuck with you. Go that way. Okay. Now, and I do think like I have changed him for the better because of my actions that I've taken in the situation. He can look at me. Like, I never put out a diss. I wrote it, you know. I wrote so many things. So many things because it's my life. So many things you guys would not understand. And then it's like, or, or I guess probably picture, oh, like Colin don't write that much. All right, so it's like, I wrote those things, but I never once put that out on the internet. I've written it to beats. I've got the beats for them. I've made songs. I've made the songs. I just didn't put them out. 
I I've like didn't want to put that out. Cause my human ass is sitting here feeling these mean things. And I think when he looked back on my page eleven days ago, he liked my song that I had previously before anything happened that I wrote and he liked it because maybe he learned something from it because I never had done something bad to him in, the, in that period of time and he saw me as like someone with a maybe like a good heart you know like a good intention now I I didn't do anything and it's like there's there's like a little part of me in so many relationships with I, that I've had with people that I need to say sorry about like I I don't have that many friends like really close friends that know me I I I think I, I thank all you guys. Like, I love all you guys. Like, Talene, I know you fuck with me. All right? Shouts out to you. Like, I can reach out to you anytime. You have my back. But, like, you you have those other friends that you talk with ev probably every day, once a week. You know I'm not, I don't do that with y'all. Like, I don't do that with most people. And... I really feel like my life has equated to a lot of acquaintances, a lot of friends, me delving into myself, me hopefully being nice because I, I don't want to be unkind to somebody. I want my photo to be like a good one. Now, but I feel like in time I've been neglected and turned off and maybe thought of weirdly of people because we're humans and we think in this w this interesting way now <laughs> a good now they say I, I like now they say I've been trying to do it but like I'm telling you guys sometimes I'm, it is just real it's, it can be like I'm seriously interested in you guys I really am interested in everybody's life in in a, in just a way though okay in just like a small way like, I, I love y'all. Like, I love y'all. And some people do a lot. A lot of people. I, I like people who do interesting things, right? And there's, like, there's this part of me. I mean, I heard something the other day, like, just t a tip. Like, tips from somebody on the internet. And it was, like, in order to be interesting, be interested. You see? Like, so when, like when you're having a conversation with somebody. That's as simple as it was. Like, so in a conversation, in order to be interesting, be interested in them. Now, a lot of the times through life, I know I'm interested in everything. I'm the most curious person I may have ever known. Like one time I was taking a piss on the side of garage and on a tab of acid, but like, I asked myself, no, just two. But, like, I asked myself, because this is me, like, what would it be like? Because cause I was, like, standing on an angle to my garage, because I just, like, I was recording. It was amazing. I come out the garage. I go take a piss on the side of my garage, <laughs> pissing at, like, a 45-degree angle to the side of the garage. So this is the garage, and this is my stream, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, what would it be like if I was 2D, if everything was 2D, like not every th object in time, but I'm talking about every plane that we exist on. So what if every plane was 2D and I s like, I swear to you, I saw it set up like, like the way I was angled with the garage, it's just set up with the code. And I like, see it was like the most two dimensional I've ever felt. And I'm like, after that experience, like I didn't hallucinate or see anything. It was like this realization. So after that, I come back and I'm like, damn, I'm curious. Like, I'm the most curious person. Like, I think I might know. Like, I ask a lot of questions and I ask God questions. Like, I ask myself questions and I figure it out. And I, I'm just really curious 
thought seeking knowledge pers- knowledgeable person that wants to learn more and most people don't know that about me because I feel like when I come in contact with y'all and I need to say sorry this sorry for this because I'm just not interested like I should be like and that makes me uninteresting it really does I need to be way more interested like in things you guys do because I mean I mean that's not a good way to put it because I'm super interested but it's just like in a way like I'm really into like some some like I'm maybe I'm just I'm out there like I'm I'm really interested in and this is why I want to I want to apologize to people that I'm not interested because I feel like I just think about really crazy weird shit and it's not what y'all are interested in so you can't be interested in me either as much as you would like so that's what equates to me being me and uh, this is not really a call call out for like friends I just this started as like you know like I have a lot of friends I have a lot of loyal people in my life and I have um, people that love me I believe so if it's real genuine love no I just want to end this with saying I love y'all too I wanted to start with just saying uh, how I believe the DMT reaches us back not back but has us be able to see from a certain our code again but I just want to end this with saying like I genuinely love y'all I hope you see me smiling when you see me like I, I, I love to smile I love to laugh and make weird jokes because I like thinking of outrageous things and you'll be like what the fuck was that that ran through his head yeah that's me you know I love y'all guys peace I hope you listen to all this video for real all right take it easy peace guys